You know, I just changed my mind on the fly. I was gonna use the uh, Adams, the Adams wheel cleaner, but I decided I didn't even use this one in a long time. So this is Sonax wheel cleaner. So what it says is on a dry surface spray, let dwell, agitate, rinse. So basically that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna spray, let dwell, agitate, and then rinse. What we're gonna do though is take our hose and I'm just gonna hose down underneath I saw this tip on that uh, detail fetish guy I'm actually gonna hose right here in case I get some kind of products well that sucks I'm trying to hose the paint when it's coated that's smart all right so here's what we're gonna do I'm gonna spray this on We're gonna just watch this. As you can see, it's already doing its thing here. It's, uh, my rims are bleeding. Usually I would go through and do the other wheels, but it's so sunny out, I don't want this drying on the, the wheel. It says let it dwell for three to five minutes. It's been about that long, so what I'm gonna do is take this cleaner and spray one more little top coat, and then I'm gonna begin wiping with a brush. We're gonna start with this brush. So what this is gonna do is get on the inside of the barrels. Now watch out with this kind of brush. You're gonna pull this out, be careful, because you're gonna get a face full of wheel stuff. Now you notice this is messed up, so I'm gonna switch to the other side. Pull it out. Usually I get about three spokes worth. And then I just take my hose and I'll rinse off the brush. Because we don't want to be, we want to give this stuff a chance to clean. It's very messy, but what are you going to do? Now when it comes to this, I can get my brush decently in there. What they recommend is pulling the car up, um, doing it behind the calipers. That's quite a bit of work, but you gotta do what you gotta do. This will. My little brush gets behind there. So I don't have to move the car up. <laughs> what I usually do is go in here, do the lug nuts area, spray this, and then I usually go over the caliper. So now we take the mitt. We put our Yeti mitt on. Now what I do with this, is I start by going around the lip and then I just work my way on the top to the bottom. As you can see, the wheels are clean. They look good, and uh, that's all that matters. These are the back wheels. They're not as dirty, but they still need love.
Now I have no idea how this uh, this foam cannon is gonna do with the avalanche that I put in there. As you can see, the foam is nuts. So for the subscriber that asked for this, this is a 40 degree nozzle. It's uh, pretty crazy. So we're gonna just do this real quick. Pretty intense. I like the hose better because it floods the paint more. My paint did not melt off the car. Pressure washer is absolutely fine to use. At this point, you want to kind of work quick. This is my soap situation here. It's really nice. Like I said, this is the uh, Chemical Guys Bear Claw. What I like to do is I do one side of the hood and then I flip to the other side of the pad. I do the other side of the hood. You try to stick with straight motions and then I go here just because I feel like this is part of the hood. And then I rinse it. Give it a ring. Give it a dunk. I do this portion here. I do that part. And then I'll end up coming here. I'll do the windows. Because, you know, glass is glass. Right? Then from here I switch, I turn the mid over, and what I'll do is the top part of the door, on the front door. I have a weird way of doing things. I usually use the emblem as my guide. So I go here, and that's as low as I'll go. I'll do the front fender. Okay, why not? 
<laughs> I just ate soap. So roof goes down to the back window line. And because it's glass, like I said, we're gonna go through the front too. So you just gotta lift and wipe. Now, because we didn't flip it, now we're gonna flip it. We're gonna use the other side. Start with the roof. Start with the roof first. Go here. Okay. Back window. Front window. <clears throat> I like to rinse from the top down because you're going to be getting all of that soap off the roof. Now everything we just did to that side, we're going to do to the other side. We suds up. Now we're just coming in. We're just doing this panel. Okay. So we're going to do this. We're going to flip the mitt. We're gonna do the front door. Again, we're gonna just come down to about there. If you have a lot of dirt on your wash mitt, you know, then you're gonna to wanna to switch, flip your mitt a lot more frequently, but his wash is gonna be a little different. Okay, and we're gonna do the back door. I just have a weird way of doing things. There's no such thing in my opinion as a perfectly right or perfectly wrong way. There's your way. Now what we're gonna do is the trunk. So we're taking a trunk lid. We're just gonna go nice and smooth. Do the spoiler. Now with our cars, the dirtiest part is gonna be the back. Obviously, we've got big engines throwing big soot. So I flip this, and what I'm gonna do with this is the tail light and the back rest of the trunk. I'm not gonna to touch the bumper yet. So now for the bumper, we're just gonna be gentle here. This is where the most dirt happens in this area. But the pre-wash pretty much eliminated that. So we're going to go through here. Go down about this slow. Again, halvesies. It's a lot of wind. Yay. We're going to flip. We're going to go through here. Not that low. I try to use the uh, vent as a guide. We're going to take this one. This is going to be our lower mitt and uh, do the lower part of the paint. I'm going to flip. Go again. And then we do this. Right now we're just going to rinse again real quick the lower part because the sun started coming out again. Of course. Here's where I take some soapy water. I already pre-treated my tips, so I'm just gonna go through. You're gonna be upside down, but that's how I'm looking at it. See my shoe? Shoe's falling apart. That's my detailing shoe. <laughs> I'm gonna get my key. I'm going to get in the car, I'm going to pull the car in, and we're going to try to wipe it down. Hill kit. We're going to pull this beast in. Okay. So 
until I start turning. I've got a riddle, a little, little red dot, as you can see right there on the dash. That's how I know I've gone enough. One thing I didn't show you before I pulled the car in, I had to take this out. This was the towel that was, you know, inside the uh, engine bay. I just want to show you how much water this thing just collected. I mean, literally, this is like freaking crazy. I recommend using this. I've got different drying towels. I don't know, somebody's getting arrested or somebody's dying. I don't know what's going on. Usually I have a lot of drying towels. I'll do videos on these. I've got kerpluffles and this and that. But for this soap stuff, I kind of just want to wipe it up a little bit. Then I'll go over this with a uh, quick detailer and stuff. I just want to give the uh, inside a quick wipe. The inside should always clean up easy for me because I actually coated everything with uh, Wolfgang paint sealant. So, just to avoid craziness. So, the interior is not so much of a worry as it used to be. I just don't like soapy shit. See, that bothers me. That bothers me so much. I just don't like soapy stuff. So, I'm going to probably end up coming in here with a uh, Q-tip. All right. So, now we've got the car pulled in. There are many different ways that you can dry the car off. I do have an air blower, but what I've been doing recently is using a drying aid. I use Chemical Guy Synthetic Quick Detailer and I have, I just bought this towel from Adams actually. It's their newest one. So what you're gonna do is you just take this, you're gonna just mist it on the paint. You're gonna take the towel, right? You're just gonna gently rub it. You're not gonna put much pressure at all. And dry, dry panel, quick and easy. Okay. Not a big deal. People make this out to be a big deal. Take the towel, go in, wipe. You're gonna wipe clean. Look, that's it. Dry. We're gonna take our towel. Hold on. Gonna leave it like this. Okay. We're just gonna go through. Gentle pressure. Gentle pressure. Okay. Nothing crazy. We're gonna do the door, right? With this car, you always get issues with the uh, inside of the doors. I handle those at the end. I'll take a small waffle weave and, you know, just go over it. See, this is a true test. It's always ridiculous. You take the panel, you're gonna move it, slide it. I'm gonna go here, I'm still sliding. Look at that, slide, come in, suck it up here, boom. Ho, 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 look at that. What I recommend, if you wanna be crazy, obviously, is if you have a blower, use it. Um, having cracks and crevices, still having water, that's a pain in the ass. As soon as you shut the door, you get messed up. You don't want standing water. Standing water dries, and that's where you get water spots. It's better to have like a light streak that you could uh, go back and wipe up. I don't know if that makes any sense. A lot of what I say doesn't make any sense. So, just be gentle when you're doing this. You're absorbing water. You're not pushing into the paint. I don't know if a lot of people realize that. Power doesn't mean you're drying it. Contact does. And this thing is very absorbent. I do have to, uh, 
I do have to give credit on this one. Like I said, I'm gonna do unbiased reviews. This is an Adams Polishes product. They do make good stuff, people. Like, I don't want anybody to be in the comment section like, oh, you just, you're, you're dissing Adams. No, I'm not. All I'm saying is, there's no such thing as one perfect company. People gotta get out of that mindset. Like, look, I'm using chemical guys to dry it. And Adams Polishes, towel to actually soak up my chemical guys like it's not like a relationship where it's like oh god you're cheating this is all about your personal experience with your car i'm gonna switch to my other adams drying towel now these are just standard waffle weaves but they're good good quality probably fold it a couple times actually Try this out. When something proves to me that it works, it stays in my arsenal. You would see it. So what I'm gonna do is just plug this in. This is my master blaster. So this is my master blaster. This is a dryer for the car. So basically what this does is it's an air dryer. It's got warm filtered air and it's got two switches. Switch one turns on four horsepower. Switch two will be eight horsepower. I don't know, to be honest with you, if I did this only if there's a difference or this only if there's a difference. All I know is when I do one, it does work. So. What I'm gonna do is put you here and I'm gonna show you what it does. So excuse the noise. So as you can see, the wheel is now dry. Actually, the, the wheel and the tire are now dry. So, awesome. Let's do the other three. Now there are two things I want to warn about. Number one, you don't really need the eight horsepower version. Uh, four horsepower would do just fine. So if you want to save a little money. Number two, if your garage is dirty and dusty, this will likely kick up some of that dirt and dust. So be careful. I figure why not be thorough about this um, there's really nothing to show about cleaning this engine bay like I said all you're gonna do is just wipe off the water you're gonna just wipe off the water um, I usually just take a quick detail spray I've been using this one a lot lately smart detail it uh, it works pretty good I like it. it smells good but as you can see basically Everything's good. You're just going to basically wipe everything off. As I mentioned in the beginning, I did put a sealant over everything. I used this one, Wolfgang Deep Gloss Paint Sealant 3.0. This is the newest one, I guess. Um, I've used this in the past with great results. I used to use Blackfire Wet Diamond. I still have quite a bit of that. That product is also amazing. Easy on, easy off, which is what you look for. So, I mean, you basically just coat the surfaces and they're very slick they stay slick which means they're easier to clean up and that's basically all you want to look for keep everything protected so that water spots don't stay on and dirt doesn't stick as easily and you keep your engine bay looking good simple all right everybody so we're on to the portion of the cleaning regimen that involves glass basically when you're taking the drying towel you're just basically getting the water off the glass but as I'm about to show you it does leave streaks and the glass isn't clean as far as I'm concerned window cleaner cleans glass you could use detail spray but I, I usually don't go that route um, 
I want to drop some knowledge onto you people. Uh, some of the things I always rant about, about the, uh, the whole car detailing cult, um, a lot of it has to do with price. It's not that I have any personal vendettas against any specific brand. I use every brand, basically. But it's the price. It's, it's me feeling like certain people are getting taken advantage of, either due to lack of information or just because they're, they're taking a certain pill. They're, they're just, oh, that's it. This is the best. And that's not the case always. One topic that drives me bananas is glass cleaners. Um, you name it, you go on anybody's website, most of the time you're looking at a 16 ounce or similar size spray bottle filled with their miracle juice and they charge anywhere between like nine and fifteen dollars. What drives me crazy is that is so much of a ripoff, it's not even funny. And then they try to mask that. They're like, okay, well, if you don't want that, try our gallon version of this magical juice for 30 something dollars what seriously people let me let me break something down for you there are brands this one in particular okay that give the word concentrate that is such an important word that's where you get a lot of value now the value in this glass cleaner specifically this is meguiar's glass cleaner concentrate it's called d120 or d12 Zero, zero, 001 that's got both of those on there. Basically what's insane about this is this one gallon of glass cleaner costs 20 something dollars depending on what deals you get on Amazon or if you have uh, Prime or if you have this or that. So what's crazy, right? One gallon, 20 something dollars. Dilution ratio, 10 to one. 10 to one. You can get a 10 to 1 dilution ratio out of this. Seriously. Like, it's not even funny. Literally, this one gallon, this one gallon for 20 something dollars of very good glass cleaner, which is also ammonia free, window tint safe, streak free, perfect for cars, designed for detailers, professional detailers. You can get 10 or 11 gallons, 10 or 11 freaking gallons of window cleaner for 20 something dollars it blows my mind how ridiculous some of these companies are it's just ridiculous so what i'm going to do real quick is show you something on the glass um again my windows aren't dirty so this isn't going to be the best test but i will down the line show these more in depth the other thing i want to talk about is detailing towels for the windows specifically for the windows um there are two that i use any website like the rag company or something is going to have a window cleaner generic towel they're like a waffle weave type towel and they work just fine um, i've noticed that the window cleaner type waffle weaves have more tightly concentrated weaves so that it's it's streak free and that's fine um another cloth that I've been using for many years now. They're called Huck Towels. H-U-C-K. I believe they, uh, they're used widely in like the surgical medical field. These are lint free, which is why they're very popular. And I've had nothing but good results. I've actually bought these in bulk before. And I think at one time I paid like 20 bucks and got like 500 towels. Something ridiculous like that, where I gave a lot to my family. But it was such a good deal. How do you pass up that kind of deal but I use these and I have so many still left I mean I had boxes literally but these towels are good so when you have a dedicated window cleaner towel and the window cleaner it's worth it. worth it totally worth it. let me just take you off real quick can you see oh wait here we go there's like smudges and streaks we're gonna get rid of that we're gonna do a one or two mist very economical and we're going to use a huck towel okay so here we go mcguire's glass cleaner one two quick sprays take your huck towel go through flip streak free streak free window cleaner
Glass, baby. Glass, actual glass. I can't give you a better demonstration on a clean window, but I will do better later. All right, so you know what? I just found out that my front window's got some uh, streaking as well. So we're gonna give another little example because I don't want people to be like, oh, you're lying, that window cleaner probably sucks. Uh, company A's window cleaner, it smells like fairy farts and it, it just does magical things. Oh, well, let's find out. That's it. Well, there you have it. Car's washed. Everything's done. As you can see, I don't need to go into the uh, protection phase. What I will do, I mean, because I did reload last week, um, in case you don't know what that is. This is CarPro Reload. It's basically a sealant spray, but it's got silica in it. But this is the truth. <laughs> Let me tell you about this product real quick. I used that much, maybe half of an inch. I did the whole car. So it is expensive at 30 something dollars for this, this size bottle, it's not bad. With the addition of Reload, um, a week after I had the coating done, it enhanced gloss even more and it made it super slick. So I did notice added benefits, but as you can see, um, the paint doesn't need it. The paint's still super slick, so I don't need to put that step on the car today. So I'm not going to. But I did the glass. The only fingerprints are on the inside. I still have to do that. I'm lazy. I'll get to it. So basically, I'm not going to be showing that phase now, but what I will do in the future are little videos. Now that this is done, I'm going to be able to focus on other videos where I can do comparisons, I can do, oh, uh, this tire gel versus this tire gel, this all-purpose cleaner versus this, I can compare foam guns, foam cannons, pressure washers, this car soap to that car soap, this towel to that towel, I can do comparisons galore now that this is out of the way. So as you can see, the car is freaking beautiful. Everything looks gorgeous. I have no issues with this car. I still have to clean up the garage, but as you can see, um, the paint's perfect, like I said. So basically, from here, um, we're gonna be doing those videos. But the final thing I wanna say in this video, I am not a professional detailer. I would be not even considered a prosumer. I'm just a hobbyist. I've been doing this for a couple years now. I've been through the gamut as far as products go. I've tried many things. I've had failures with many products. And what I want this to be is an open forum. I wanna just talk about detail and stuff. I mean, I'm never gonna be perfectly right. But what's cool about this is we can all chat in the, in the comments section. You tell me what products you've had good experiences with. I'll add it to my arsenal or I'll try it, I'll give it a shot. I'm always down to learn. That's what makes me different. I'm, if something proves me wrong, I'll own up to it. So basically, you know, let's, let's get discussions. Let's try to build this to the point where it's like, okay, we all talk and we all benefit. We all get to the point where it's like, we find out what is a good value, what products worth the hype, what products are worth the time and effort, what products are worth anything our money our hard-earned money that we have to go out and bust our asses for like why should we have to spend 30 something dollars for a gallon of something like i said when you can get 20 something dollars for a gallon that makes 11. come on let's not get crazy here but as you can see paint is flawless if you haven't done a coating and you're in a financial position where you can do a coating i do recommend 
um, a coating. What I'm going to do is put a uh, link to a couple of the products that I've used in the description so this way you all can get an idea of what I've used but um, this is what the car looks like. The wash process, let me tell you, I'm so glad it's done that I filmed it. I, I, I don't know how it's going to come out in the editing process but it's, uh, it's a lot harder to film and wash than it is to just wash it, it's uh it's definitely a labor of love i i care about this channel and you know i really i'm excited i'm excited to get this out of the way because now we get to talk about things like tire gels uh focus on different wheel cleaners i have a lot of different wheel cleaners i've got the adams wheel cleaners i've got 1z wheel cleaner griots wheel cleaner poor boys sonax i even have company called the brown royal flash brown royal or something uh i've got different tire gels we're gonna have fun with this so again give this series a thumbs up subscribe uh and if you're a detailer or you have more experience than i do don't be negative be positive give us your experience comment and let me know okay is this wrong do you know of a better wash mitt do you know of a better soap uh, do you have a better pressure washer? Like, let's get positive feedback here so everybody learns. We don't need any negativity. You know, these videos, like I said, are going to be meant to help, not hurt. So, again, thank you for watching. Uh, sorry in advance if this is long. Oh, by the way, the reason I didn't do the uh, tires in the video, the reason I didn't clean them and, and do that is because I did test out... I currently have Ammo NYC, the uh, tire, the mud tire gel. So I had put that on last week and I just want to see, you know, how it's, how it's going to hold up. So I didn't want to agitate it with an all-purpose cleaner and stuff. Usually in my wash process, I would spray some kind of all-purpose cleaner and scrub the tires down. So again, as we go through with washing episodes and stuff, I'll figure out better ways to film. I'll figure out better angles and, you know, we'll grow together. So if you have any feedback, let me know. If you have any, you know, uh, advice on how to make this better, what you want to see, some kind of comparisons, I'm an open book. Let me know. I'll do anything for my subscribers other than rob a bank because, you know, I don't need jail time. All right, guys? So thank you for subscribing. Like I said, please like and leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Until the next one, have a good day, everybody.